In this section, we are going to integrate PayPal into our demo application. This PayPal demo site is, is, really, is a really good starting point. And this uh, demo site shows us uh, two different types of integration. The client integration, what you see here, and the server integration, what is here on the right side of the uh, screen. Now, first, we are going to integrate the client um, version. And then we will integrate the server version because although it is a more complicated integration, it is a more secure integration. But of course, I will talk about this more in the upcoming videos. However, let me show you how our PayPal integration will look like in the admin side. So we have a uh, PayPal uh, separate settings for PayPal here and as you can see we can set the environment to sandbox or production and we can provide our sandbox client ID, production client ID, sandbox secret or production secret and of course we can update these uh, details whenever we want and we also have uh, more general settings for our checkout page where we can set the currency, um, some, um, some other uh, settings regarding the price and the currency. Uh, and we have many, many PayPal specific uh, fields here. So we can, we can enable the PayPal smart buttons or we can disable them, but obviously we will enable them for this section of the course. And of course, there are other uh, options regarding um, the PayPal smart buttons, because uh, based on your locality, you might see um, a ton of uh, PayPal smart buttons, or you might see only two options or two PayPal smart buttons. So for example, in Germany, you can pay with Zofort as well. However, if you don't want your users to use Zofort, you can easily disable it in the settings. Before I conclude this video, let me just quickly show you how the payment process works with PayPal in our demo application. So I'm here on the checkout. I have some uh, fake customer info. And this is where the, this is the accordion where our PayPal smart buttons will be loaded. I will accept the terms and conditions. And now I will make a PayPal uh, payment. So you can see what we are going to integrate. So I click on the PayPal button. I have this iframe coming up. This is one of my sandbox uh, IDs and I just provide my password, I log in. Now I have to wait a bit, and then PayPal shows me how much I should pay. And if I click on pay now, then the payment will be made. PayPal processes the payment, and we are also processing the payment on our backend. Yeah, and we get this nice order confirmation, and then the purchased course will be available in our dashboard. So as you can see, this is the payment that I made. Uh, don't, um, don't be bothered by this other line because actually I've been uh, playing around with the PayPal checkout and I bought this course several times. So this is not a bug in our application, but we will talk about uh, our checkout flow in the upcoming videos. So this, is the, this was the brief overview of our PayPal integration.